All right, I'm going to walk you through how to make a food web using Google Slides. So first you're gonna to go to either Google Drive or straight to Google Slides. If you're on Google Drive, in the left corner, you click New and you, collect Google, or you select Google Slides. And I already have one up. Um, so what I like to do is there's usually a title page. Um, whatever there is, you wanna get rid of these boxes. So you just select it until the blue is highlighted and delete it. And I have this right here because I'm making a different food, food web than the one that you have in your assignment. So these are the six organisms that I want for my food web. So the first one I want is grass. So what I'm gonna do is insert image and I'm just gonna search from the web because I don't wanna save them to my computer. So I'm just going to search up a picture of grass. So this one looks good. I'm gonna select it and then this blue box pops up. I'm gonna click insert. And then this image is way too big. So I'm going to scale it down a lot. So I'm gonna put this in the corner here. It doesn't matter where you start it. I want my food web to start here. So I have grass. I'm going to delete that from my list so I know that that's done. So next I have a grasshopper. I'm going to insert image, search the web. Now I'm gonna look up a grasshopper. This one is fine, I'm gonna select it. Once again, I click insert. Oh, there we go. Again, way too big, I'm gonna make him smaller. Let's put him right here. So I'm actually gonna keep the list now because um, it tells me which organisms eat which. Um, and I know that this is my primary, or this is my producer, so I don't need to know what that eats. So next I need a frog. Um, insert image. Frog. Quickly do that. Ooh. Oh, that one's cute. I want this one. Select, insert, then once again make it smaller. And I'm not going to do my arrows just yet. Um, you can do them as you go, but I want to get all my pictures so I can arrange them before I start moving my arrows. Because if I do my arrows, then I have to start moving everything if I run out of room. So I have my frog here. I need a rat. This, I know this one, you're cute. Insert. Why is there two? Let me try that one more time. I don't want Ratatouille, although you could do that if you wanted. I want you. Insert. There we go. So I'll make you smaller. I'll probably move my frog down here. Put my rat here. Then I need a snake. Oh, those are little ones. I will use oh, a scary looking one. You look scary, even though you're not real. All right, I have my snake. And then finally, I need an eagle. So search from web, then I'm gonna put eagle. Ooh, this one's cool. Insert, make the image smaller. And I know that this eats the most things, so I want mine to be near the top. And I'm just gonna rearrange these a little bit. So I know the grass is my producer. I'll move him more towards the middle. I'll move this off the screen. And then I have my grasshopper and then my frog. I have my rat here. And then move this here and this here. All right, so you can arrange that however. Um, now I'm going to move on to my arrows. So remember the arrows point towards where the energy is moving. 
So I know that my grasshopper eats the grass. So I'm gonna click this right here. It says select line, click that arrow. And then here I have an arrow. I'm gonna connect it from here. So I'm gonna click that and then, oh, that didn't work right. Let me retry that. So I'm gonna select my arrow and I want it to go from there and I'm gonna hold it. So you click it and you hold it and you point it towards there. And so now I have an arrow that goes from there to there and you can edit these. So right here, um, you can edit the line end, the line start. If you do the line weight, if you make that bigger, it makes the arrow thicker. So I want my line weight to be about, uh, we'll do four because they're close together. So then that makes it thicker. So I have a line going from, and I can move this a little bit. There you go. So I have a line going from the grass to the grasshopper because that's where the energy is moving. So I have my grasshopper, it eats the grass. I'm going to take that off. Next, my frog eats the grasshopper. So I need to select an arrow and I'm gonna go from the grasshopper to the frog. So you click where you want to start, hold that mouse down and then connect it to where you want it to end. And then once again, I'm gonna click this that says line weight, I'm gonna make that four. So the frog just eats the grasshopper. So I'm gonna cross that out, I'm done with that one. Now my rat eats the grasshopper also. So I need a line, arrow, I go from my grasshopper and I'm gonna to go to my rat. And then I'm gonna change the line weight again cause I like to see it a little bit bigger. And then here you can see my snake's a little close so I'm gonna move that up and move this over. So my rat eats the grasshopper, done with that one. Now my snake eats the rat and the frog. So I'm gonna select my line and I'm first gonna worry about my snake eating the rat. So I'm gonna go from rat to the snake because remember we show where energy is flowing. I'm gonna change my line weight, make it a little bit bigger. And so I have the rat and now I need the energy from the frog to point towards the snake. So I'm gonna go from the frog, oops, did not select that. So I'm gonna go from the frog to the snake. I changed my line weight. There we go. And this one, you can move a little bit down. There we go. So I have the energy from the frog to the snake and from the rat to the snake. So now I'm done with the snake and all I have left is the eagle. The eagle eats the snake, the rat, and the frog. So let's start with the snake because that's the first one listed. So I select the arrow, I go from the snake to the eagle, change my line weight. Now I need to go from the rat to the snake or to the eagle. So I'm gonna select the arrow. I'm gonna go from the rat and I'm going to go directly to the eagle. I'm gonna change my line weight. And then finally, I need to go from the frog to the eagle. So I go from, oh, and it didn't select. Make sure it selects. So when you go over a picture, you'll see those four dots. So I go from here to the eagle and I want to change my line weight. So now I have that done. I am all completed with my food web. So I want to name this food web so that when you're searching for it in Canvas, you can find it easily. Um, because remember, you need to go to the Google Doc tab. So even though it's a Google slide, you go to the Google Doc tab. And you're just going to upload this. It's only one slide. And it shows me my food web. And it shows where the energy is moving. And it has the lines and the pictures. So that is all you need to do for this assignment if you choose to do it in a Google Doc.